<laughs> I love this steering. Yeah. Wow. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> yeah, I'd be a little concerned seeing this down my street too. <laughs> hmm, nice day on the greens. <laughs> Still have to golf one of these days, I think. <laughs> Just for the fun of it. Got to do everything once, right? So I think I still got to play tennis too. <laughs> Lots of things actually. <laughs> Hi there everybody. Welcome back. I'm the Missing Sock. Welcome back from our Grand Theft Auto Online. So here we are at the uh, at the uh, golf course. Where is it? Uh, GWC and Golfing Society. Yeah, so we got our APC last episode here. Something tough for the company. Um, and now we're going to get something a little bit fast. Tough and fast. A little bit rich guy apparently is the the uh, the style that it was made in. So let's have a look. We're gonna get ourselves a HV wine night jerk. So under war stock cash and carry. They still have the sale on the go, so I might as well take advantage of it while I can. And if you guys miss out on it, I'm sure they'll have more sales in the future. And it's actually not too bad priced compared to some of the other uh, newer vehicles these days. So it's normally one million two hundred forty-five thousand. There is no trade unlock price, so I guess that's good because you don't have to unlock the mission. But it's also bad because it'd be nice if there was a savings. At least I'm getting one with the uh, twenty-five percent off right now. So we're going to get ours for nine hundred thirty-three thousand seven hundred fifty. Seats four, which is uh, one comparison right off the bat. Um, you know uh, uh, the uh, regular insurgent. Um, is uh, cheaper and it's seat six and it's uh, comparable actually I think it's a tiny bit tougher believe it or not very close though almost exactly the same and then there's the insurgent pickup which is down here and it seats nine okay but it's generally considered a little bit more vulnerable for the gunner and and, and uh, the occupants than it is for the uh, for the regular insurgent wherever it is wherever it is wherever it is there it is the regular insurgent yeah so Something to note right off the bat there. Yeah, so we're going to get ours here. Let's have a look. Party gun running. Night shark. There's a special moment in the life of every billionaire when you realize that everyone else is trying to kill you and steal from you. <laughs> when the time comes, you want a vehicle built exclusively to cater to that paranoid delusion. Enter the night shark, where you can sit in perfect comfort behind tinted glass as the filthy hordes press against your armored hull. Then pull the trigger on the dual machine guns and relax as the car does all the hard work for you. Who's crazy now? <laughs> yeah, that's a good description. Not completely accurate for those that, uh, that like it. So um, I'm going to let you guys know that uh, to a lot of people, this is a great vehicle. It's very popular, and some people even think of it as a must-have vehicle. Other people don't like this vehicle. It's a hated vehicle and considered a waste of a million dollars. So you guys will have to decide for yourself. So there, we'll keep comparing as we go along here. All right, so let's see. Well, I imagine that's kind of what it looks like in black. Not even sure what I'm going to do ours in. I'll probably do it in some kind of camo, I imagine. Should try orange, red, maybe green. That's bright green though. Mm, white. Eh, white's different. Let's see what a white one looks like, and then we'll change the paint uh, paint job in our uh, in our Avenger probably. Yeah, buy it now. All right, we'll send that over to Del Barrow's apartments. That's just around the corner. Your night jack will be delivered to your garage shortly. Thank you very much. I've even got my war stock shirt on again. <laughs> All the war stock discounts. All right. So we'll head over there, pick that up. So you guys see the APC here, so we might as well compare that for a quick moment. The APC is awesome, as you guys might have seen in our last episode. It's incredibly tough, possibly one of the toughest, if not the toughest, vehicle in the game currently. It's, believe it or not, slightly tougher than the Rhino tank. Um, and that's with the full armor upgrade, I should say. You do have to pay for the full armor upgrade for that to be true. Um, yeah, so it's a great vehicle. That said, um, it's not as fast. So here we go, we're gonna go. And I, I like this vehicle. I thought it was faster than I expected it to be. That said, it's not fast. You know, it, it can't compete with a lot of the armored cars. It, uh, a lot of the trucks and uh, insurgents are much faster than this. Um, it does have a tow hitch, which is nice. Not every vehicle has those. The regular insurgent does not. The Insurgent Pickup Custom, which costs a little bit of money, does have a tow hitch, so you can carry things like trailers, but mainly the uh, the anti-aircraft trailer. Now, something to note about that anti-aircraft trailer is you cannot carry your own, unfortunately. I, I hope Rockstar changes that in the future, but I don't know if they will. You know, but uh, but you can't carry your own anti-aircraft trailer. So basically, you know, you need to have the trailer out and a friend haul you in their APC or their truck or their Night Shark. Night Shark has one as well. Or you, or vice versa. So unfortunately, you need two people to be able to operate the two together. 
Some people think it's because uh, Rockstar didn't want it to be overpowered. I disagree, though. Like, I mean, if I had uh, the anti-aircraft trailer attached to this, I mean, how overpowered is it? I can't use both at the same time as a solo player. I mean, you know, I got to get all the way out, jump out, run over here to my trailer, jump in, you know, hop into the gunner's I mean, I don't know. To me, it's not very overpowered as a solo player, you know. It's not like I can use both at the same time. Yeah. So, otherwise, the APC is awesome, but it does cost more. Uh, almost a million dollars more. Night Shark has been delivered. All right. So let's have a look. Tempted to drive it in, just watch it scrape. <laughs> All right, so this too only seats four. And like I said, the Night Shark seats four, or uh, as well seats four. The, um, the regular Insurgents and uh, R6 and the Insurgent pickup is nine. So there is a bit of a differences out there depending on your needs, whether it's MC related or, or company and you're gonna be carrying around four people or friends. Woohoo, there it is, our Night Shark. All right. Yeah, very cool. I like it. All right. So um, a lot of the armored vehicles, in my opinion, would be more offensive. You know, some of them have offensive capabilities. Some of them are defensive capabilities. This one, I would say, is a defensive vehicle. Now, to a lot of people, they love it in free roam. Okay, so, uh, you know, basically people come along and attack you and hydras and, and oppressors and all kinds of stuff like that, often, as some of you may have encountered. Something like this helps. So it doesn't make a weird icon on the map, so it looks like a regular car, so they don't even know that you're in it. And um, uh, it can take quite a lot of damage. Okay, almost as much as the uh, regular insurgent can. So I think basically it's about four sticky bombs. The fifth one will destroy it. So fifth destroys it. And uh, I think if you're inside it, it actually becomes stronger and it can take up to nine sticky bombs or RPGs. Well, I would say eight, and then the ninth would destroy it. Now, as you guys may find, if you test those yourself, it, there is some variation. The game's not the greatest that way. You know, sometimes it's a it's a shot less. Sometimes it's a shot more, you know, like so. So, uh, you know, sometimes you get lucky. I've had my Karuma take a hit, you know, and it's not supposed to take any explosions, but I've had it take it oh, a ton of splash damage and be okay. But other times, you know, no. Anyway, yeah, and the Karuma is another good choice uh, that way. Seats four fast, but, uh, but it's not as strong. It can't take any explosions. And this, as we just covered, takes a lot of them, especially if you're inside them. So let's hop in. Here it sounds like. Ooh, nice, it's got a growl. I don't know if you guys can see that right on the corner there. That's the exhaust. That's kind of different. So the exhaust is not like under the car, as I thought, or at the back of the car. It's uh, it's right there on the corner of the bumper. Huh. Different. You'd think they'd want it higher to avoid water, but... Uh. So apparently this is the fastest armored SUV. So it's uh, one of the fastest armored cars, but it's not the fastest armored car, because there is other things like the... Uh, um, like the V12 armor drafter, but it is the fastest SUV. <laughs> Pretty much standard horn, but it does sound strong. Yeah, sounds like deeper than normal. Otherwise, normal horn. Let's bring it out of sunlight here. Let's open it up. Oh. Okay, so it has no engine display, much like the Insurgent. It doesn't open up at the front or back. Just the doors. <laughs> Knock it on my way out. Now, these are supposed to be bullet-resistant uh, glass, so maybe we should find that out right now. Uh, yeah, we we'll use our double-action revolver. Why not? <laughs> All right, so let's see. Maybe we can fire right through there. Yep, seems to resist it. Actually, I should... Oh, no, we did close that. Oh, it's convenient that we did close this door, actually. No, it went through. So, it does not have bulletproof glass by default. Or at least not that side. So, usually I shoot through to two windows, because, you, you know, well, you're always going to see the damage from the shot, but we shouldn't see it go through if it's resistant. And see, it went through to that window. So, not bullet resistant yet. We'll see what happens when we upgrade it. These are where the machine guns go. I'm not sure if they're in there by default. We're going to find out. It has four machine guns. It has these bars here, but unfortunately you can only sit four. A lot of people are disappointed. Like It looks like you should be able to have the extra two like some other vehicles so you can seat six. And they'd hold on to these uh, the rails there and then on the side steps too. But you cannot. Yeah. There's our tow hitch. Comes standard. It's good to know. So you can help out a friend's, uh, drive a friend's anti-aircraft trailer. 
or take a boat to the beach <laughs> if you can find the boat trailers. Let's close it up. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's see, I'm just seeing if the weapons are on here or not. Go through my weapons. Oh, yeah, there it was. Of course, I went by it. <laughs> it's, this game. It's so nice to be at backwards. There we go. Yeah, now apparently the guns are supposed to pop out. And they did at first, but then Rockstar disabled it. And they still haven't fixed it. And nobody's really sure why they haven't fixed that. Or what the problem could be. Hmm. There we go. Sorry, I had to find the button there. Yeah, so you can't really see them in there, but they're on the ends. But they are supposed to pop out. And maybe in the future they will. Run! Run! <laughs> That's not very effective. Oh, he's still alive, too. Yeah, so... Not the greatest. <laughs> but like I said before, this is about defense and speed. Not so much about... Um, uh, offense. Now that said, these guns apparently do have a tiny bit of auto tracking. When you're firing at targets, they will try to aim a tiny bit for you and aim for the head. So it might be kind of hard to show you guys that working though, because it's like a slight thing where you just notice that the guns lean towards the players, or the, the characters' heads um, as you're shooting at certain targets. It's not very reliable, still not very good, but uh, you know, at least it's something there. Mm -hmm. No stock, she's got lots of, lots of good go. And she's also uh, great for off-roading. So certain other armored vehicles are fast, like say our V12 armored shafter, like I mentioned. Um, but they, uh, they can only take one explosion, and then the second one will kill them. And they can't really go off-road, not very well anyway. Something like this easily can. <laughs> this should have came up a little sooner than that. <laughs> Oh, do you? He's got ideas for this one. That's that's what I like to hear. All right, repair vehicle. All right, cool. So let's get it some armor, 100% for an extra 50,000. There we go. Brakes, race brakes for 35,000. I'll put stop a little bit better. Okay, bodywork. Hmm, looks like we've got four categories there. We'll come right back to that in a moment. We'll get the engine, 33,500. Yeah, nicely upgraded. Exhaust, what are the op options for these exhausts? These strange exhaust. Titanium side, hmm. And dual exit. Dual exit? Oh. That puts more plates on the side there. And it puts them at the back. Strange that they have that at the top. End. But I do like those extra little plates at the back. I don't know. I don't know why, but I do. So, so I'm taking them. Sold. 1800. Okay. Lights. Headlights. We'll just get that done. See the lights. 7500. Uh, our liveries. Our plate. Yep. We gotta get our plate. This one's suck. That's exactly. A work of art. <laughs> Glad he likes it. <laughs> All right, suspension. Well, I know I'm going to want that. So, competition suspension, 4,400. At least that's cheap. A little bit better traction. Might lower your clearance for off-roading, but not very much on a vehicle like this anyway. And I'd rather have the uh, traction, which usually translates to better speed sometimes. Transmission for 40,000 for the race transmission. Should be much faster now. Yeah. Good. That's what I like to hear. And turbo for 50,000. Smell a rocket <laughs> Okay. Now our windows, we're going to test something out here because in the past there's been a few bugs with this when it first came out. Apparently the window tint would disappear when you got armor plating. So we're going to see if that still happens. So I'm going to go with my usual limo tint for 5,000. Yeah. Okay. See if I can get it to Give us a different view. This is the interior. Looks similar to some other trucks and stuff. But at least you got the digital, easy to read display. You can see right in the back, no problem. 
Now, sometimes when I do that, it gives me a different camera angle, but not today. Oh well. We'll see. Okay, so we already went through all that. Now we're into the bodywork. Okay, so door plates. Hmm. Headlight protectors. Rear light protectors. What, headlight protectors? Headlight protectors. Primary headlight. Oh, yeah. Styling, I guess. It's for a military, for a, for a armored SUV. Yeah. And black, secondary. So I guess that would be, yeah, just secondary. It just happens to be black. But you can make that different. Secondary colors. Black headlight protectors. I guess that's just official black. So if you've got different colors, you can still have black on there. Hmm. Well, I think I might like that secondary on there. Yeah. Come back to that in a second. And the rear light's probably the same. Yep, secondary lights and black. Okay, well, with that said, I should probably um, pick our, our fronts and stuff, something to match with it, right? Our grill, primary horizontal grill. Secondary horizontal grill, which you guys can't see very well because it's in black. But same as that one, really. Black horizontal. Primary vertical. Secondary vertical. Primary mesh. Secondary mesh. Black mesh. It is definitely very black. Hard to even see it. But you can change it to your primary color. It's just good to know. Hmm, so we have to decide our colors. Mm, default mesh is actually not too bad on this either. Verticals. Yeah, we'll get the black mesh grill, maybe. Yeah. Secondary mesh. I think I am going to keep it black, too, anyway. Well, then, if that's the case, I'm just going to fix it all right now. So, body work, headlight protectors, secondary black, rear light, secondary protector black. Well, just secondary color is black. And uh, let's see, window plates. Okay, guys, so now getting into the window plates. We'll see what happens here if that tint disappears. And uh, this is also something that you may or may not want as an optional thing. Yeah, let's see if I can get it to give us... Uh, a different view. Yeah. Oh, keeps wanting to pop me back and forth. I want to show you guys the front for that. But you can see, and there, do we have a different view? No, it just wants to give us this one. <laughs> well, there's our no window plates, and basically that lets you um, use any throwables. Okay, so you can use uh, sticky bombs and your guns and all that kind of stuff. It will break your own windows, but you can shoot out and, and attack things with it. So it's a little bit more offensive that way. Offensive capabilities to attack people. The primary window plates, once we put this in, basically stops you from using uh, sticky bombs and things like that. But you can generally still use your guns. Separately. We're going to find out here. And the secondary should be the same, just different, uh, different colors. Secondary color. And then there's the, the full black window plates, door plates. Yeah. And apparently these, if you have these window plates, the top end ones, then you cannot use any weapons at all. And I'm going to find out if they fixed it, because there's been a lot of changes since then, and I don't know, we'll see. But you know, let's see. Here's the tint. I'm trying to see if I can see something to see if that tint disappears. Yeah, the tint does disappear. Still does. It's hard to tell, but it is happening. See if I can line it up right. See the dashboard there? You can see the dashboard light just through that little slot. Right? And I go like, so you can see it. And then there's the tinted window. And see how hard it is to see that? And then it brightens it up. A lot of people don't like that because it's easier to find your head through there. And then juju. Boo. Well, we'll go secondary, I guess. Look at the primary actually kind of looks cool. Looks tankish. Mm. Mm. Black lights. Yeah, secondary. 
Door plates. Primary door plates. Secondary and black. None. I think the primary is actually better on that one. Okay. So we've done all the rest. We've picked out our grill. Let's go to the hood options. Steel hood plates. Primary level one, secondary level one, black level one, primary level two. Oh, I see. So right around here, these appear. There might be some other details too. But on the primary, there's only these, then the secondary have these. And level three, right there. Apparently these plates are just cosmetic, but I think it does help to obstruct the view a tiny bit. Yeah, that goes with the rest of it, so might as well. Level three, black armor plates. Thank you. 12,400. Our horn. <laughs> Truck horn. I don't know why I just did that, though, because I might give it uh, mines, actually. Hmm. Livery. Now, I might change the color, obviously, from the white. Maybe we should right now. Sometimes it's easier to see it with bright colors like this, but sometimes it's actually harder. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm going to change that right now. Three guys, one second. Let's change that. Now the white is kind of cool though. Different, you know, white on black. There's black, matte black with shiny black as a secondary. Kind of like that actually. Desert tan. Dark Earth. Foliage. Forest green. Oh, lime green. Yeah, that's near perfect. <laughs> well, there's nothing wrong with standing out, but I don't want it to do. <laughs> Dark red's actually kind of nice. Midnight purple. It's actually kind of nice. Blends right in. It's not too bright, you know? It's just kind of like a tint almost. Gray, gray, and black. No, yeah. it's SUV, rich guy, SUV, billionaire thing. I think the black goes well. Maybe it's boring, but I think it's styling. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of go through some of the quick colors so you guys can see some different combinations yep that you can end up with lots of customization I suppose with all these different layers and it does change even the, the highlights on the lights at the top just little details like that hmm. now libraries and wheels I believe yeah wheels Wheel type. Mm. Yeah, that's gonna check. So it is already bulletproof tires by default, which is good. Sometimes they don't do that <laughs> in the past. So at least this time they come with, you know, an armored SUV should come with standard, you know, bulletproof tires, you would think. Tire smoke, yeah, black again. I like the black, why not? Okay, and the wheels are okay. But I think I am going to change them. Hmm, maybe give it some off-roaders. Mm -hmm. Or maybe even SUV rims. No, I don't think I've even looked at the SUV rims in a while. Let's just have a quick look through if we can get a decent view of that tire. <laughs> yep, the big rim. Yeah, it looks alright. For the city SUV. But I think I want to keep mine 
the rough SUV. Yeah, much like our APC. I don't know, maybe I will go with a little bit of something open. Thinking about something closed. That slinger's not bad. You know, something that you can't see through, kind of like the default one there. Which actually isn't too bad. Too bad you can color them easily without a bunch of trouble. Yeah, I think I might try the mudslinger on them. It's old. We have color black. Work of art. Just some different colors for you. Yeah, cool. And I don't think I'm going to get that. It's not bad, though. But I think I'm going to go with a little, little bit more of a stealth feel anyway. Okay, last thing. Libraries. Now, unfortunately, I made it even harder to see, I think. <laughs> yeah, the Zancudo camos. But sometimes having that slight camo can kind of like make a slight difference. Makes it, you know, detail, fine detail. When you're up close, you can notice it. 90 sandbags. Modern five color. Air theater. Cool. Winter camo. Urban warrior. Not bad. Nature Reserve, can't really see it. <laughs> or Naval Battle, very well. I guess on black anyway. Urban Geometric, yep, I think that's one of the ones I went with uh, on the APC because it gives it a very metal look. Coyote Geometric, Large Geometric. Naval Geometric. Ooh, it's kind of nice actually. Desert Fractal. Yep, Desert Fractal. Cool. Awesome Fractals. Urban Fractal. Mm. Large Digital. Medium Digital. Small Digital. And that's all. I like a lot of those. I don't know, guys. It's hard to say. I don't know. Naval Geometric is kind of cool to me. It's different. Hmm. A little bit bright. It's hard decision because I really like that large geometric and the coyote and uh, these fractals are alright too. But I don't know. I like that Naval Geometric. It gives it a clean look somehow to me. A little bit of color. Yeah, she is looking good. All right, let's exit the Avenger. It's probably nighttime on us. Woo, she just goes no problem. Let's go over here to the lights, why not? Oh, she even spits now. <laughs> <laughs> She's got some go now, that's for sure. All right, looking great. Oh, let's hop back in. And we're going to try those weapons out. Okay, so now with our plating, we have nothing but our machine guns. And there was no weapon upgrades either, as we noticed. No upgrades whatsoever. I don't even think there was any mines in there that you could get either. Hmm. I almost think I'm going to go back in there and just double check. No mines, really? They almost all these vehicles, they've been giving us mines for a little while now. I don't mind. Sometimes, like, I'm not a big fan of the mines, but, um, whoop. <laughs> There's another hundred bucks I'm going to have to. Yeah. Up, We've aided security there, too. <laughs> I was getting right. Another hundred bucks. There we go. Yeah, I just wanted to check. No, no mines, really? Huh. That's different for a lot of these vehicles. They almost all do. Like I said, I'm not necessarily a big fan of them, but, uh, you know, they are useful. Some vehicles like this one, where you have limited weaponization, weaponized options, it's nice to have, you know, mines that you can lay behind you. 
Yeah. Stepping in the glass still. <laughs> it's still there. Hmm. Stuff popped me away over here. Okay, so that covers the weapons. And yes, unfortunately, you do lose your tint. That is no good at all. And I gotta try shooting right through from the front to that passenger side. Oh, well, it stopped it because of the, uh, the metal plates. That one seemed to go right through. Well, maybe that's why there's no tint. It's because I think there's no windows. <laughs> ah, rock star. Let's see if I can get a good view. It's hard to get that right angle. Well, I guess we could try a sniper rifle too. Yeah, that should do. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. Oof. So there's something to be said for keeping your windows the way they are. With the tinted everything. Yeah, just passes right through. So watch out for that. So if somebody's spraying you with... Uh, with their, you know, weaponized tampo or their, their minigun or something, you want to watch right out for that, because they could just spring right along. Or snipe right through there. So if you're fighting somebody in one of these, you might want to do that. But like I said, the main thing about this is defensive capability, something fast to carry your trailer with, something fast to get across free roam with, um, fast to get across, you know, a lot of people fly, but maybe you're not in, in flying, maybe the skies are filled with other people, you know, you can always uh, drive one of these. He just shot me from there. There he hit the armor, and now he's hit me. Whoa, it just comes right up. <laughs> I'll shoot out all your tires. <laughs> yeah, then she sets fire to them. Runs over people well. <laughs> See if I can try another one. I think at point blank range it has a tendency to ignite them. Be nice if that's true. As you guys can see, plenty of speed. Gone in a heartbeat. Easily maneuverable. In more capable hands. <laughs> see, I'm purposely spinning it around here. And yeah, no, no problem. She does what I want her to. Easily. So at least sometimes it sets them on fire, but it seems unreliable. I don't know if you guys can see, but here and there my targeter goes red. See the little weapon targeter? It's white. When it goes red, usually you're hitting or aiming right on. See it? Red there for a second. Here and there it is hitting them. Not very well. But here and there. <laughs> very little damage though, as you guys can tell. But the car has plenty of weight, so comparing it to other ones, it has weight, you know, things like the armored V12 shaft or do not. This can just plow right through roadblocks, no problem. Easily overcoming any of that kind of stuff. <laughs> I 
<laughs> jump small rivers easily enough. <laughs> Did he go? <laughs> hey, there. hey! Oh, and for only three hundred dollars. Mind you, I think most of the damage they did was to me. Very cool, guys. I think I'm gonna hey. drop this out of my venture. Sorry about that, man. Bumping you. <laughs> Alright, here we are everybody, way up high, just over 8,000 feet, high as you can go in the online world unfortunately, but high enough, just got the autopilot engaged, yep, we're way up there, so we're just above my facility, I'm going to see if I can land right on the facility, I'm almost certain to miss, <laughs> but you never know, maybe we'll get lucky, go right into the facility, drop right in. <laughs> A drop test. So just finishing up with our night shark here. Hi. Hey. Hello. And uh, so I'm just making sure that I did covered it all. So yeah, seats four. Can seat your whole company basically. Be nice if it sat more. Uh, it can take generally about four RPGs. The fifth one will blow it up. Okay, and it can generally take more damage if you're in it. So we'll have to test that out, I guess, on a different time. But uh, but yeah, like a lot of other armored vehicles, they're actually stronger when you're inside them. Yeah, some people say it's actually a lot of vehicles actually have that effect. They're just so subtle you can't uh, detect it. Um, now, um, mm -mm, guns auto aim. Yeah, and we covered the plates. Uh, 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 the other thing I wanted to mention was that it also has a normal icon, so I mentioned that too. So there's no armored icon for this. So when you're driving around on the map, nobody knows you're in this, unlike the insurgent or uh, or the APC, where people know what you're in and can prepare or avoid or things like this. This kind of thing, they would just num you know they would not necessarily know if you're in a regular car or not, and you'd be protected. So it's good that way. Now the other thing that's interesting about this uh, is it has soundproof windows, which unfortunately I think I've gotten rid of because there is no windows in here anymore, I, I think anyway. But apparently by default, but I'm not sure about the way it is now, we can always hope, but it has uh, soundproof windows, like a few other very rare vehicles in the game, the Cognizetti and uh, um, I think one of the newer ones, I can't remember what it was called. Um, People weren't happy with it. It's kind of overpriced, but uh, it's kind of like a Cadillac, a newer one kind of car, but it's got uh, soundproof windows. Yeah. For whatever that's worth. You pretty much, I think, only notice that when you're in first person. All right. Night shark of the sky. <laughs> oh, maybe I should have said leave Avenger. Well, that is just the strangest thing. So all I did was just press the gas. And it popped me right down to ground level. Well, that's good to know, so that you can just run into your Avenger and hit the ground and it'll pop you down somewhere here. Where are we anyway? How far away? Yeah, our Avenger's here. That's actually quite a distance, really, when you think about it. Not far, but far enough. Can I see my Avenger? I don't think so. You can see a little further straight up with your flare gun. No. You guys see an Avenger? I don't see an Avenger. <laughs> well, that was kind of anticlimactic, wasn't it? Oh. <laughs> oh. Too bad he didn't last longer. As you guys can see, it definitely has the uh, crushing power. Just like that. The whole corner's gone. Yep, yeah, never try to rush a man in a military vehicle. <laughs> Especially in a place like uh, San Andreas. And no stars, because the police don't want to mess with us. <laughs> but yeah, easily destroys vehicles but like I said it's all about the speed and off-road speed things like the insurgent are awesome but they don't have the speed 
Um, that said though, the Insurgent can roll over vehicles like that easier than this can. Ooh, over the guardrail. Boom. <laughs> As you guys can see, very maneuverable. I was just flipping it around as I was flying. That was crazy. All right. Good. Over above our facility again, Trez again. You never know what direction it's going to pop you out in though. Sometimes it's behind it, but like from the back of the plane, but you never really know. I try to line it up, but it always seems to be wrong when I do. Just a little bit more. Get bottled by the negate. LJT here. Uh, you heard the expression, money doesn't grow on trees. Uh, I'm, I'm busy. <laughs> What's the point in all the money if you don't have the fun? <laughs> all right, heading to the back here. Try this twice. So that's really cool. So it does pop you down on the ground. I've never done it like that. Maybe uh, you guys have probably done that many times, but I've never had it just pop me on the ground like that. Hey. Yeah, I heard you the first time. Jeez. Hi, three times there. Hi, hello, hello. <laughs> okay, now this time instead of pressing the gas, I'm going to go into the workshop and exit the Avenger. Whee! So I guess that's what you got to do. Woohoo! na 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 Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Go on, go in the facility. Go in the facility. Yeah. No real problems. I think I got a tiny bit of damage to my body armor because I did repair that. No, maybe not, because I was messing around earlier. But yeah, no real considerable damage at all. Be nice if they fix that front uh, machine guns popping out again. If that ever happens. All right. HV1 Night Shark. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with that, guys. Hope you guys like it. Um, as you guys can tell, there's lots of different ways of making it look in different ways, different styles, or even just no camo at all, no livery at all, and just uh, different paint jobs. You know, it looks great. Yeah. So I'm quite happy with that. It's not too expensive. You know, it's in around a million dollars, so that's not too bad compared to others that are way more. And, uh, yeah, it's very tough. So, like I said, if you're looking for something tough, you know, something mean, something quick, um, and with a with a hitch on the back, you know, for trailers, then this is a great option. Now, if you want something more offensive, you might want to consider something, you know, a little bit more deadlier, like uh, like the uh, APC here, or other types of vehicles out there with better weaponry. But if you're looking for something quick and strong to get you out of the, the uh, situation and survive it, then uh, it's hard to beat uh, things like the Night Shark. So as we've covered before, guys, there really isn't, in my opinion, any any best uh, armored vehicle. Um, it really depends on the situation and the player that's using it. Um, you know, what you need it for. Yeah. So, I definitely am happy with that addition, though. Yeah. All right. See you again next time, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. 
I'm Nose and Zuck. Take care, everybody. See you again soon. Mm-hmm. <laughs>